Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to take a look at this Champion Lawn Mower. This is one coming as part of a free mower job lot. Um, I've got a um, Mountfield 414, another mower, I can't remember what it was now, and this one. Um, three lawn mowers, um, a tenner a piece. Um, one of which is sold, one is still outside up for sale and uh, still waiting on a buyer, but this one come in as well. And at the moment, all I can see what's wrong with it is um, a pull cord, so I can't, I can't even try and start it because um, there's no pull cord on there. So we we'll have a look at this one. It wants a bit of a paint job, but do you know what, for what it is, it's a tenner mower. I'm only going to get 50 to 60 pound back on it. I might got, I've got a bit of smooth amorite. I might try and touch up best I can, just try and out it for cheap, uh, because at the moment we are on silly season. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. Give us a thumb up on the way in or any way out would help, uh, much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, let's check out this little champion lawnmower, see if we can get this one to start and try and get free out of free. Right, let's make a start then. Um, quite a simple little um, start off if we can get anywhere near it. Um, Phillips screwdriver in here and just three Phillips screws to remove um, will expose the, uh, the cover. Let's have a parcel turn up. We've got a new front door coming and uh, we can't have a letterbox because of Riley, so we've, we've changed it up a bit so no postman will uh, knock on the door. And I bought one of those uh, parcel boxes so you can put a letter and a parcel in it. So hopefully that'll uh, stop Riley Boy uh, kicking off because he, he gets a bit of a two and eight when Mr. Postman Pat comes to the door. So um, with that done, I want to get my extension bar. I've got my tools uh, tidied now because uh, I've been doing that round some Marquis, as you know, and uh, I've been putting my tools away because uh, I had tools literally everywhere. It was getting a bit beyond the joke. So. Let's uh, undo these, 10 mils, undoes those, take them off, pull cord comes off, a bit mucky up enough, a bit of a blow, blow up in here because uh, there's bits and pieces everywhere so I'll give it a spray WD-40 a minute and we'll just have to compress all that off. Um, there's a the pull cord and all I'm going to do is just try and fish this pull cord back out best I can until it gets to a point where I've got all the string going to be around about there. Take that string out so that's no good for nothing and literally just replace the pull cord. You've got to wind them up first okay, wind them up like so, then thread your pull cord through and then um, tie it off in a knot. So you've seen me do it before, let me just get this pull cord re-threaded and I'll come back. Okay so that's the uh, pull cord now done, I've cleaned off the top of a carburetor here because it was just absolutely full of junk bits and pieces. So the pull cord goes back on now. Um, and all I want to do is just bring this up to the top, roughly. Top of the older handlebars. Pull the pull cord up tight round so you know you've got enough tension on it. Get the old pull cord out. A set of uh, four sets would do that. Get hold of that. That can go. And then just push your um, new pull cord through. It's already pre burnt off. Take the slack up with just a touch and then tie a knot in the back of that just to hold it up into place. That should be enough. I might have to readjust it a bit later on um, once I go to start this machine. There's a very high chance it needs a carburetor doing to be fair. So I'm going to put down the, uh, the three 10 mil bolts which I've got here. There's no fuel in this machine. It came completely empty. Haven't even, haven't even tested it myself yet. So it would be nice if um, it's been chucked away purely because there's no fuel in it. Uh, no, no pull cords. That'd be lovely. Uh, it's only a push mower, um, so therefore we'll only be a cheap one. So let's get a little, a little bit of fuel in the old tank. See how we get on. Let's put a little drink, give a little drink. See if we get any fuel leaks or anything along that line. Hopefully we don't. 
That should be enough just to wet its whistle. Just give that a second, just want to check for fuel leaks. Put that there. Fuel cap's not broken, which is a first for these. Normally, normally they are they're all split. Let's have a quick look for fuel leaks. No fuel leaks there. Let's check the oil. See what that's doing. Oh my lord. It looks like someone's been sick in the oil reservoir. Let's have a little look at that again. See the colour of that? It's just like water. I'll have to take that out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, first of all, just see if it'll fire. If it'll fire, then we're on a winner, but the engine may be terminal, so. Let's just give it a bit of a fire up, see what happens. Just so I can't get, just to at least just fire and stop. And then we'll go from there. So let's just back you off a touch. Put you about there somewhere. And just will go for a quick little fire up. I don't want to run it for long because it, there's no telling on how long this was last run up for, so I don't want to go too mad. Uh, so what we've got, dead man on. Throttle will work as it should do. Let's have a quick little sneaky fire up and see how we get on. Can't put it. It might be hydro locked. Can't put it. Okay. So let's um let's get a spark plug spanner. Let's see what happens when we take the old plug out. The plug is actually corroded as well. Let's have a little look. Oh my lord, we've got an engine bin. An engine bin sink. So I'll let that come out and uh, I'll clean that up I and mean, I'm, I'm actually going to put some oil in this um, because uh, someone's had this tipped up obviously. Now we can pull it over. Look at that. Oh my lord. I just thought I looked like someone had a dod dodgy Chinese. Right, I'll um, get all that drained out and uh, I'll come back once I've done it. And they'll tidy up. There's loads of water in here as well. Loads of water. And uh, I'll come back once I've done it. Okay, so this little engine may be no good. Um, I've just literally taken the, the uh, I'll say the oil, but I'm gonna say water. Um, it actually had more water in it than oil. Um, which is not a good thing. So I'm gonna put some oil in it now. Um, I could hear by the consistency of it, it was just chucking out, chucking out um, uh, water. So this engine may be no good, but we should see, we'll go with it anyway. So I pour some fresh oil in. The engine's now got no oil in it at all. I pulled it all the way through. I'm gonna put about three to 400 mil in to begin with. See how it gets on with that. And then I'm wanting to, cause, cause it's, been filled up with pet uh, with uh, water and what have I I'll take it outside and start it because this is going to smoke like no one's business. Um, I've got a new M NGK spark plug to go in, which is the right one for it. So I just let that let that top off. I'll get it up to about the right level, and then we'll um, we'll see how we get on. Meet the outside and we we'll give it a bit of a run up. I'll just tighten the, the oil filler up as well because that was loose. They all come loose now when you, when you undo them. Uh, that's showing about the right mark now. So uh, it's safe enough to run. It's got the right amount of oil in it, give or take. I can always top it off a bit later on um, and we'll see. So let me put the spark plug in it and um, we'll see how we get on. I'll meet you outside, as I say, and we'll give it a bit of a fire up and see what it does. Chances are, if it's got water in the in the uh, oil, if there's water in the carburetor as well, so it could be a carburetor clean on this one, but we'll see how we get on, right? You never know, it's a 10 pound lawnmower. It's only gonna sell for 40, 50 quid, somewhere along that line. It's never gonna make millions, so. Um, I'll meet you outside and we'll go for a fire up. Right, here it is. Um, I have also just undone the carburetor um, 10 mil bolt as well, just take any water out of the carburetor for now as well, just give it half a chance. So, um, let's give it a fire up, see what happens, and uh, we can go from there.
okay, it needs a bit of a run up. Mother-in-law's outside, she's putting the washing up as well, so she'll appreciate me smoking your garden out. Um, I'm gonna get a clamp and um, just let this run and uh, see how it gets on. But uh, it seems to be running okay for a minute, but uh, it wants a bit of a test. So um, let's give it five, 10 minutes on its own and see how we get on. Right, let's go and have a look, see what it's doing. Just get a bit smoky on it, so. There's the old ransom mark, Chris, look. Isn't that beautiful? That looking nice, let's get in there. Oh, there you go, not too bad. It's been running for about five minutes. It's not, it's no longer smoking. Yep, happy with that. Um, I'll give you a blade a bit of a sharpen, but I'm going to just out it as it is. Um, you know, sort of 40, 50 quid for a lawnmower, that's good enough. Um, comes with a grass box, I put the cover back on it and uh, that one's good to go, so super happy. Okay, so there you go, that's lawnmower number three of three and uh, all running, so I paid £30 for those lawnmowers, the profit is not going to be amazing, it really isn't, but if you can buy them cheap and sell them cheap, then you can deal with this silly season as I call it. Uh, that lawnmower um, literally has had um, just the oil taken out of it, which is absolutely diabolical, a new spark plug, new oil put back in. I shall give it a blade sharp and balance, it's had a new pull cord and what have you, so it's good to go. It'll do someone a turn for the season, so I'm super happy. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack your bell, set your notifications to all, that way you'll be told when I'm done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6pm UK time. Leave any comments you've got down below in the comment section and give us a thumbs up on your way in or on your way out as you can, it helps towards growth of my channel. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy.